Why is Denmark so unique on the global stage? You might think you already know, but wait, because we're about to reveal some surprising facts about this nation. These are pieces of information that even experienced travelers may not be aware of. Stay tuned, because by the end of this exploration, you'll uncover secrets that might be the reason Denmark consistently ranks high on national happiness indexes. Get ready to feel a twinge of envy and have your curiosity peaked like never before. Here's an interesting fact. In Denmark, if someone is still single at 25, they are bathed in cinnamon on their birthday. This isn't a judgment, but rather an ancient tradition. Just imagine, you're celebrating another year of life, and suddenly, you're covered in cinnamon. But don't worry, it's all done in the spirit of fun. The origin of this tradition dates back hundreds of years, when spice merchants, always traveling, had difficulty finding a romantic partner. So when reaching 25 without a companion, a spice bath was the tradition. And there's more. If you make it to 30 still single, watch out. Cinnamon might be replaced with pepper, and eggs can be added to ensure the mixture sticks well. That's turning the single life into a literally flavorful experience. Denmark stands out not only for its social equality, but also for remarkable gender equality, positioning itself as one of the world leaders in feminism. Being a Danish woman means enjoying freedom in clothing choices, without judgments based on appearance, free from harassment and unwanted advances in everyday life. Both women and men in Denmark enjoy significant freedom when it comes to their bodies and nudity. During the summer, it's common to find women practicing topless on local beaches or even changing clothes in public spaces. The Danish approach to sex is free from taboos. From childhood, Danes are educated about their bodies promoting open conversations about sex. In Denmark, the body and sexuality are seen as natural aspects integrated into daily life. Sex on the first date and casual relationships are viewed with openness. Toplessness is allowed on beaches, and in gym and club locker rooms, there are no dividers in the showers, reflecting this openness towards the body and sexuality. Denmark is renowned for having one of the purest sources of drinking water in Europe. The majority of its water comes from vast underground reserves, almost 100% of it. This extraordinary water quality is not a coincidence, but rather the result of rigorous quality management and ongoing efforts to preserve the soil from contamination. The water that flows from Danish taps is not only safe for consumption, but also represents the country's commitment to providing extremely clean water for its residents. Denmark's care for water purity goes beyond a mere practical necessity. It reflects the value that Danish society places on the well-being of its citizens and the environment they live in. Denmark, with its myriad of 406 islands, makes it impossible to be more than 50 corners from the coast. This Nordic country is embraced by the North Sea and the Baltic Sea, always within reach for a stroll. The coastline stretches for over 700 kilometers, instilling a love for the beaches in the hearts of the Danes. This unique geographical arrangement turns Denmark into a mosaic of islands, where life is inseparably connected to the sea. Amidst the bustle of cities or in the serenity of the countryside, the ocean is a constant companion, profoundly influencing culture and lifestyle. More than just a geographic feature, the sea is an essential cultural element, a living presence that enriches life in Denmark, not only as a beautiful landscape, but as a vital component of Danish identity. In Denmark, the era of physical currency is rapidly fading away. This country is one of the world leaders in digitalization, with nearly all financial transactions taking place electronically. Here, the clinking of coins and the sound of paper notes being handled are rare sounds, remnants of a bygone era. Denmark has embraced the digital age to such an extent that cash is becoming a relic. Most purchases and interactions with government agencies are conducted online. This is a society where swiping a card or a simple tap on a mobile phone screen has become routine. Physical wallets are giving way to their digital counterparts. Denmark is showcasing how the future can be, with digital at the forefront of finance. In Denmark, bicycles aren't just popular. They dominate the urban landscape, especially in its capital, Copenhagen. Here, Bicycles outnumber cars, standing as a central pillar of Danish lifestyle. In Copenhagen, 
statistics show 13,000 more bicycles than cars. And surprisingly, nearly half of all daily trips in the city are made on two wheels. This is a testament to urban design favoring bike lanes over car streets, reflecting a profound commitment to sustainability. The Danish enthusiasm for bicycles has deep historical roots. In 1892, Copenhagen paved the way with its first cycle track. This passion was revitalized in the 1980s, driven by a growing awareness of the environmental and economic benefits of cycling. The population strongly supported the development of dedicated cycling infrastructure. With over 12,000 kilometers of bike lanes, Denmark has established itself as a global example of how to promote a greener and healthier mode of transportation. In Copenhagen, most residents, including many middle-class families, consider owning a car unnecessary. The preference on the streets is clearly for cyclists, not drivers. This model of urban planning is an inspiration to the world, showcasing Denmark's commitment to efficiency, health, and a more sustainable future. Punctuality is a central aspect of Danish culture, so inherent that it seems to be part of their DNA. In any circumstance, whether it's a business meeting, a casual get-together, or a family dinner, arriving on time is an essential element of etiquette in Denmark. When a Dane quickly checks their calendar after being invited for coffee, it's not rigidity. It's an expression of a cultural value. In the daily lives of Danes, punctuality is not just appreciated, it's expected. They place equal importance on being punctual in both professional commitments and social events. In this context, time is not merely a passing resource. It represents an implicit agreement, a social harmony. Being punctual in Denmark is not an option, but a respected social norm. Denmark is globally recognized as the country with the lowest corruption index, according to the Transparency International Corruption Perceptions Index. This prominent position is largely due to the high levels of trust between Danish citizens and institutions. In Denmark, the fight against corruption goes beyond policies and is integrated into the everyday life of society. But how does Denmark maintain this leadership in the fight against corruption? Denmark's strategy is complex and is based on transparency and trust. The country strengthens its position with a strong commitment to freedom of the press, allowing public access to information about government spending. Additionally, it maintains rigorous integrity standards for public servants and ensures the independence of the judicial system. In Denmark, combating corruption goes beyond mere rules. It's a value instilled in society. In this context, trust and transparency are essential. Freedom of the press ensures that the public is always well informed, making it difficult for corruption to thrive in the shadows. Access to information about public spending creates a system of checks and balances, holding institutions accountable. The ethical standards required of public servants establish a model of conduct, and the independent judiciary upholds the rule of law. The birth rate in Denmark is facing a concerning decline, a common trend in several developed nations. The drop is attributed to a complex mix of factors. One of them is the reduction in the number of women of childbearing age. Another significant reason is couples' decision to postpone starting families, which can make pregnancy more challenging. Research also indicates that the quality of sperm in Danish men may be decreasing, further complicating the fertility situation in the country. Healthcare professionals suggest that the government should create incentives to encourage couples to have more children. This is not just a demographic issue, but vital for the nation's future. The situation in Denmark serves as a warning. Even in seemingly perfect countries, complex social challenges demand creative responses. Haiga, a central concept in Danish culture, is more than just a word. It's an experience of comfort and contentment. If you've ever explored Denmark, it's almost certain you've come across this notion. Translating roughly as coziness, Higa manifests in numerous ways. Whether it's wrapping yourself in blankets with an engaging book and a cup of hot chocolate, playing board games with friends, or enjoying an outdoor picnic with family. The true magic of Higa lies in its versatility. There is no right or wrong way to experience it. What truly matters is the experience of tranquility and warmth it brings. Higa is about nurturing intimate connections whether with loved ones or with oneself. Imagine yourself on a cold winter night, snuggled by the fireplace, wearing your coziest sweater, with a hot chocolate in hand, illuminated by flickering candles, 
lost in the pages of a captivating book. That's the epitome of Higa. In a world often turbulent and fast-paced, Higa offers a refuge, an opportunity to slow down, reconnect, and savor life's simple pleasures. Higa goes beyond a mere cultural element. It's a profound philosophy that emphasizes the importance of personal well-being, human relationships, and finding pleasure in the little things. And with that, I thank you for being with us today. Don't miss our next video, which promises to be as engaging as today's topic.